Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the system of linear equations with two variables using the substitution or the elimination. But put in mind, we're going to find uh, the value for our x and y, but notice the given that we will come up with the coinciding lines and parallel lines. So if we're going to graph that, that will give us the coinciding and parallel lines. So what will happen to our x and y? So let's try this example number 1. So 2x minus 4b is equal to 6 and negative a plus 2b is equal to negative 3. So we're going to use the elimination method, the easiest way to solve this. So our goal is the coefficient for A in both equation 1 and equation 2 must be the same. So all I need to do is to multiply 2 in our equation 2 so that it will become negative 2A plus 2 times 2B, 4B is equal to negative 3 times 2, negative 6. And just copy the equation 1, 2a minus 4b is equal to 6. If we're going to add 2a plus negative 2a plus 2a, this is 0. 4 plus negative 4, this is also 0. So 0 is equal to Negative 6 plus 6 plus also give us 0. So our equation will give us 0 is equal to 0. So that gives us the infinite many solution. If we're going to graph the two, the equation 1 and the equation 2, this will be our graph. So they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. And for the classification of system, consistent and dependent. Okay, now it's clear to you what it looks like if we're going to solve our equations. The coinciding lines. So this will give us coinciding lines. Infinite many solutions. Unlike our unique solution or the intersecting line, we're going to graph that. We're going to meet at exactly one point. In this case, why it called infinite many? Because our point is infinite. There's a lot. A line is composed of infinite many points. Okay, so that's the coinciding line. So our graph will be like this. And now let's try our example number two. 4x plus y is equal to negative 5. And the equation two is 2x plus y over 2 is equal to negative 1. Using the elimination method, our coefficient for x must be the same. So all we need to do is to multiply 2 in our equation number 2. So 2x times 2 gives us 4x. 2 divided by 2, that is 1, times y, that is 1y, or simply y, is equal to negative 1 times 2, negative 2. Now, 4x plus y is equal to negative 5. Just copy the equation 1. And let us subtract 4x minus 4x, that is 0. y minus y, that is also 0. So this will give us 0 is equal to negative 2 minus negative 5 positive 3. So 0 is equal to a number. So if we're going to graph, this will give us the parallel lines. Notice that they have the same slope but different y-intercept. 
Their slope is negative 4. And the classification of the system is inconsistent. And the number of solution, there is none. Number of solution, none. Why none? Because our two lines will never meet at any point. Of course, in our graph, if we're going to graph in our Cartesian plane, the two lines are parallel. Okay. So you can easily find those in our solving linear equations. We don't need to um, if your teacher asks you what is the classification of the system or the number of system, you just need to solve. You don't, you don't need for you to graph or something like that. That's the importance of knowing how to solve the linear equations with two variables. And of course, we can use this as a reference. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And that ends our discussion for the linear equation. We're now, uh, for your next lesson, will be the linear equation, uh, linear inequalities. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.